The Persian Gulf is mostly shallow and has many islands. The Gulf is bordered by Oman and the United Arab Emirates to the south, and to the west by Qatar and Saudi Arabia. Although oil was discovered in the Gulf in 1908, it wasn't until the 1930s when major finds were made and keen international interest in the region revived. For many years the Gulf oil fields which are among the most productive in the world, had been extensively developed and modern port facilities had been constructed. Nearly 50% of the world's total oil reserves are estimated to be found in the Persian Gulf. It's also a large fishing source, and was once the chief centre of the pearling industry. However, it's also here that a giant shark was spotted. Scientists from the University of British Columbia have been investigating whether this giant shark could still inhabit the Persian Gulf. Back in November when researchers were going through satellite imagery from Google Earth, they found a huge shark estimated to be around 70 feet in length. The megalodon was believed to have been 50 to 70 feet long, with early estimations ranging from 80 to 100 feet. It's tough to investigate what exactly this is as we only have one picture. Through archaeological findings and research, it's believed the megalodon became extinct somewhere around 1.5 million years ago for unknown reasons. Although scientists and researchers have claimed numerous theories for its possible extinction, However, many people the world over have speculated these giant sharks could still be thriving in deep water. This isn't the only megalodon to have been sighted over the years. In his book Sharks and Rays of the Australian Seas, Australian naturalist David Steed shared this story which some believe describes a terrifying encounter of a megalodon. In the year 1918, I recorded the sensation that had been caused among the outside crayfishmen at Port Stephens and for several days they refused to go back to their regular fishing grounds in the vicinity of Broughton Island. The men had been working on the fishing grounds when a giant shark showed up, lifting pot after pot containing many crayfish. These crayfish pots were around 4 feet in diameter and frequently contained from 2 to 3 dozen good sized crayfish, each weighing several pounds. The men were all unanimous that this was a giant shark. In company with the local fisheries inspector I questioned many of the men very closely and they all agreed as to the gigantic stature of the beast, but the lengths they gave were absurd. But bear in mind these were men who were used to the sea and saw all sorts of weather, and also all sorts of sharks as well. The case remains a mystery. There is one beast that's come to be known as the Black Demon. This creature has locals scared for its thought this creature could be a man-eater, and may have a taste for human flesh. Described as similar in appearance to a great white, the creature is said to be black in appearance, rather than the grey shade that great whites tend to have on their dorsal area. It's said to be anywhere between 20 to 60 feet long, and the size of a school bus. Having massive eyes said to pierce you with terror, its huge tail is its defining feature, which is seen by many whipping around at the surface of the water. Also differing from any known species of shark, it apparently has attack bones and has been seen leaping out of the water to catch seals and sea lions. Sightings of this creature are rare, and no physical evidence has been found to prove the creature's existence. So is there enough proof to support the idea that Megalodon is still alive? Let me know your theories in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.